Blacksmithing might sound like a job from the Middle Ages, but here in Massachusetts, a team of blacksmiths have kept the tea running since the system's first passengers climbed aboard in the 19th century. Michael D. Clemente has worked as one of five blacksmiths at the MBTA Repair Center in Everett for the past 31 years. They were making these long before I ever came here, right? Since 1988, he's worked on many of the same train cars decade after decade. The first day I started here, I worked on a red line car. On, um, we went over there, there was, um, they, they had to do a whole uh, rectifier bracket change on the car, and I was out there for, I don't know, six months. And I mean, that car is still here. It's like if you had an old Chevy and you had it from the day that you got your license till, you know, you were 50. Keeping the country's oldest subway system on track is a full-time job for a team of 200 trades workers, including welders, mechanics, and sheet workers. But the blacksmiths are tasked with creating custom pieces that either can't be gotten in time for emergency repairs or simply aren't even produced anymore. I use these to change transmission, change bus tires, the track department uses them like their candy. De Clemente spends his days in front of an oven that reaches 1,500 degrees, even in the summer. He says about a quarter of people who come to work at this facility drop out. They simply can't take the heat. Recently, the MBTA has undertaken a major project of refurbishing its widely beloved President's Conference Committee cars. You might know them as the Mattapan Trolley. The eight cars, which date back to the 1940s, had fallen into disrepair. Rather than discontinue the historic fleet, blacksmiths have played a big part of retrofitting the cars. Let me tell you something about those trolleys. Those trolleys are built phenomenally well. Um, we have two that are sandblasted and ready to be start rehab. You look down the side of that trolley and, you know, it's like an old Chevy. It's built out of steel, not thin garbage, and it still looks as straight as can be. Like blacksmithing, these cars are reminiscent of something from Boston's past, a time when mass production and speed couldn't hold a candle to craftsmanship. And at least for the foreseeable future, neither the MBTA blacksmiths nor these trolley cars are disappearing from the Bay State's rails. Reporting from Everett, Megan Adelini, the Boston Herald.